What's up, everybody? I got a couple plays for you guys today. We're going to start it off in MLB. First, let's touch on that Baltimore Eagles game last night. Beautiful preseason game. I don't expect much. I look for what the rookies do. And uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah Trotter Jr. for the Eagles, great. Uh, Quinion Mitchell for the Eagles, look great. Uh, Nate Wiggins for the Baltimore Ravens looked great as well. That young running back, I'm gapping his name for Baltimore, seemed to be doing pretty good things for them as well. And a little precursor, back in April, I put 20 bucks on Baltimore to win the AFC, and I put 20 bucks on the Eagles to win the NFC. We'll see all that plays out during the year. I also put a, a, a unit on uh, both teams to win in week one a few weeks ago as well. Just put that out there for you guys to know that's where I'm at as well. And that is how I feel about them two teams going into this season. Full disclaimer, yes, I am an Eagles fan. I do place a small wager on them every year. Usually I just put five bucks on my favorite teams, usually get them at decent odds. But this year, I really like Baltimore and Philadelphia this year in their respective conferences. And it was mainly because of odds to obviously Kansas City. I feel they're very strong case to repeat, three-peat, for the first time in the NFL this season. But anyways, on to tonight's betting. First, we're going to go to baseball. I believe it's Tampa Bay Baltimore game. I got Drew Rasmussen over two and a half strikeouts. If you want a little lesser odds, you can find him at one and a half on a couple places. ESPN bets. I know is one. I forget the other one. Uh, Caesars maybe. No, Caesars has them at two and a half. My apologies, but I know there's at least two sites where you can get them over one and a half strikeouts. I'm going over two and a half strikeouts and he has covered in nine straight, averaging 5.56 Ks per game in his last nine starts. Over to the CFL. CFL's been treating me good so far. Montreal Hamilton. I tease this over under. Every sports book I found had them either at 49 or 49 and a half. So I took a little less. 1.72. I use decimal odds. I know that sometimes in my posts, I'll post you guys with the other odds. Traditional odds, American odds, whatever you want to call them. Uh, decimal odds, 1.71 was the price I got at teasing this number to 51.5. I'm going under in the Hamilton-Montreal game. Uh, six of the last seven meetings overall between these two teams have gone under the total. And five of the last six meetings in Montreal have gone under the 49.5 total. That is not under my 51.5. Uh, last week, uh, Montreal beat Hamilton. I think it was 33-13, something like that. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I know 30-13 or something like that. I, I expect this game to be something similar. Montreal boasting the best record in the NF or in the NFL. Mine's on NFL already. In the CFL, my apologies. Uh, they have the Montreal as the number one defense. They're seven and one overall. Hamilton does have the number one ranked offense in yards per game and stuff. But I think Montreal is just too good. Hamilton had their two game win streak snapped by the Alouettes last week. And to carry on with this game. Tyson Philpot over 79.5 receiving yards. And another reason why I like Montreal over Hamilton. Hamilton is without, uh, what's his name again? I forget his name. Uh, Jamal Peters. He is their number one coverage corner. I apologize for gapping on his name. I was looking at way too many names and numbers, and I've got the Olympics on this morning. And I like him over 79.5 receiving yards. Uh, he's averaging 96.5 receiving yards on this year, and I believe he's crossed the end zone five times with receiving touchdowns. And I will post where you can get the best odds for all of these in the description of the video. Good luck with all your best tonight. Peace.